I get it. Okay. Yeah. Go. Oh, no. What the fuck? What it is, guys? What bless from Sage D. A lot of you guys enjoyed the dumbest uh, question Facebook a video I posted a while ago. So much so as to where I decided to do another one. Now, the link is going to be in the description down below. Lego. What's up, YouTube? This is Dragon, and these are the top 10 dumbest questions you'll ever find on Yahoo Questions and Answers. There are many dumb questions, but they are none like these. Let's get started. Number 10. Is throwing your hair in the garbage safe? I wanted to be sure because in biology, we learned that it had DNA and stuff. So is, is it safe? Well, look. I know DNA is kind of crazy because, you know, it's all over, all over the place all at once. Like, you just don't really know what's going to happen next. Like, it could destroy a civilization. It could destroy a baby. You could be destroyed. Who knows what DNA is going to do? DNA is that crazy shit that nobody wants. But you know what? The only way for you to be safe is for you to never cut your hair again. Ever. Number 9. In 7th grade, I kissed a boy on the cheek and I'm worried that I'm pregnant and I can't eat bananas. Help! In no way is this a joke, because my friend said DNA travels in your mouth and she has an A plus in life science, and I know she's right, and my friend said you will be more pregnant by eating bananas. Help! What? Okay. I can be more pregnant! <laughs> I give her an A plus in troll science. Number 8. What is the right age to start teaching my dog about sex? You know, for a question like this, you shouldn't really be asking Yahoo questions. You should be asking... Right? ...fucking Scooby-Doo. What the fuck? Teach your dog about sex? What type of freak nasty shit is this bitch into? <laughs> what? And how is she gonna demonstrate sex to the dog? Really? Uh, I, I think, I think, uh, I think somebody might want to be putting in a call to animal cruelty because I'm pretty sure this chick is smashing her pets. <laughs> and that's real. <laughs> I'm sure Scooby-Doo knows exactly how to solve this mystery. Number 7. I was bitten by a turtle when I was a young lad. Can I still drink orange juice? Oh, this guy, he gives the best answer ever. No! If you drink orange juice now, it'll activate the turtle venom in your veins and send you into a coma. Didn't anyone ever tell you this before? You know, I was thinking more along the lines that you might end up in a sewer somewhere and then be trained by some rat in the sewer that also has some orange juice and then you end up with these superpowers and an insatiable craving for pizza because as you can see, orange juice is the same color as pizza, so orange pizza, orange juice, they all come together. See, it makes perfect sense. Number six. Is it possible to feel like a sandwich? Update. Maybe it's just because I didn't take my meds, but I feel like a sandwich right now. Nah, I just. What? I feel like a sandwich. Just sitting over here, glazing over the light. Yes. How the fuck do you feel like a sandwich? Right? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Answer. Yeah. In kindergarten, someone called me a sandwich, and I was really offended and started crying. What? What the hell is that? How do people see? That's how you know this person is white. Okay. How? Why is being called a sandwich the worst thing that's ever happened to you in your life? You ain't been through enough life issues. Okay, where I'm from, we used to get shot at or get beat up at school. This bitch is worried about being called grocery items. <laughs> How do people bitch? do things like this? How does that even work? Oh, you sandwich bitch. <laughs> sandwich bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Number five. Is the Hunger Games based on a true story? I was watching the Hunger Games. Is it true? Like, did it happen to Nazis after World War II? Well, of course the Hunger Games are true. We even have live documentaries that will show you exactly how it happened. We even have a book documenting the account piece by piece. Look at this picture. And this picture. And this picture. If you're not sold at this point, then I don't know what to tell you. 
Number four, can you really lose weight by rubbing your stomach? I'm 5'5 and I weigh 220 pounds and I'm 26 years old. My 14 year old daughter is embarrassed to be around me and is gonna take a long time to- Wait, first of all, I love how this dude just skirts past that like that's not uh, in some way wrong. It's a, how you 26 and you have a 14 year old daughter? Is that artificial insemination, or I mean, like, is like you, you, you got someone pregnant at the age of eleven? Because it takes nine months to have the baby, which it means you probably be twelve. You, nigga, like, is, is that is this accurate? So. Lose all of this weight. So I heard that if I rub my hands together for really quickly for around 15 seconds and then rubbing around your belly button makes you lose weight. Is this true? Has anyone tried that and did it work for you? Well you see you're on the right track but it depends on how fast you do it. But make sure you don't do it too fast or you might set yourself on fire. But then again, fire does burn a lot of calories. Number three, how do I turn off my caps lock? I accidentally turned it on yesterday and I don't know how to turn it back off. All of my friends are mad because they think I'm shouting at them over the internet. This problem is literally ruining my life, my career, and tearing my family apart. I just want to be whole again. Please help! Number two, is there a spell to become a mermaid that actually works? I would like to know if there is a spell available to become a mermaid, one that works. I'm asking people that believe in mermaids. Don't say things like, mermaids don't exist, because I take it very seriously and I find it offensive. Please help me find a spell. By the way, I'm also a witch. Well, there is this one woman, unfortunately she lives deep within the Atlantic Ocean, and whenever she does something for you, she leaves you with this feeling of irreparable sadness. So, you know, the choice is yours, but the option is always there. Number one, what if the girl that thinks I'm the dad isn't the mom? Yes, this question is so dumb that when you read it the first time, you don't really understand it. I slept with the girl and now she's pregnant. There's two possible fathers though, and neither of us think it's us anyways. What if she's really not the mom to begin with? Will it be another guy's child? Help! Well, I could explain it to you, but I feel it would be better if I show it. Maury? <laughs> you are not the father! Yeah. He went down. I can see that he went down. See that? Huh? He went down. But what? I don't know. But huh? <laughs> when someone asks shit as stupid as some of the stuff that was in this goddamn video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. If you did, the original link is down in the description below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It's your boy Blast from HD. As always, Twisms. Make sure to check out my prank channel. I'm uploading two brand new pranks every single week. As this one you see on the left, click the annotation if you want to watch that or look in the description where I'll leave a link for the people who are on phones. And as always, Blasphemous HD out. Yeah. Rob TZ. There you go. So, yeah. I won't punch forever. E. Yeah. Mm.